All right, we want to record a few things for you in terms of the systems of equations. I want to go over all three methods so that um, you're able to uh, figure out um, how to do these. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you and we'll go from there. So uh, the first one, the first few problems, I don't want to, I didn't want to do the, um, any of the work on the, on the homework assignment because there's only four problems and uh, so I'll just give you some different examples here. Okay, so here's one where it's 8x minus 4y is equal to 16 and 8x uh, plus 4y is equal to 16. Okay, now the first thing you need to know and recognize in each equation is what form is it in? Okay, um, and you really need to know like the forms and recognizing you know, the slope and the y-intercept. Uh, is it in slope-intercept form? Is it in standard form? Is it in point-slope form? Okay, so the, and if it's not in a form, like how do I get it to that form? Okay, well, right now we have standard form. Both are in standard form. How do we know? Because standard form is ax plus by is equal to c. So that's really important, okay? So looking at an equation, you need to understand which form it's in Okay, and then if you don't, if there is, if they aren't in any form, how do I get it to a certain form? Okay, and so what we want to do is we want to get into y equals mx plus b. We want to get into standard uh, slope intercept form. Okay, slope intercept form, you, you've probably heard it many times. You've heard of y equals mx plus b a million times. Okay, and the, re the reason why we want to put it that way is so that once we get the y by itself, we understand we can get the slope and the y intercept. That is the most important thing right now. Okay, and that'll help us graph, all right? So if we do this 8x minus 4y is equal to 16, you subtract the 8x to both sides. And so it's negative 4y is equal to ne negative 8x plus 16. And you divide by negative four. And so y is equal to 2x minus four, okay? Now, I think this was from block two. Um, but remember, what is the y-intercept? What is the slope? So it's really important that you remember that from week two and then apply that to this week. Okay, so if we have something like this, let's say, let's say we have a line or graph, okay? We know just by, because the y is by itself, the slope is two and the y-intercept is negative four. Now again, what's the y-intercept? Remember the y-intercept is where the line hits the y-axis. Okay, so let's graph this first. So we graph the y-intercept, so it's negative four. So we go down one, two, three, four. So we know that this point, this is where the line hits the y-axis. Okay, I'm gonna change colors. Okay, just to make it easier. Then we have the slope. And remember the slope is the rise over run. And remember if it's a whole number, it should be two over one. So the number on top is the rise, the number on the bottom is the run. So we go up two from this point here, rise, we rise two and we run once. So we run one point to the right. Once we get that, okay, we draw the line here. Okay, and that is your equation. Okay, that is your uh, line. Now we're gonna do the same thing for this number, number two, the second, the second one. And we're gonna do that on the same graph. That's why they call it systems. That's what it's a fancy way of saying systems. Okay, so it's 8x plus 4y is equal to 16. You can do the same thing as before. You're gonna subtract the 8x. You have the 4y equals negative 8x plus 16. You divide the four. And so I'm gonna erase this here. So you have y is equal to negative 2x plus four. This time around, <clears throat> we have the y-intercept of four. So one, two, three, four. Then you go down two and then write one, right? Because the slope is negative two, all right? And once you do that, you put the line and you see that the line meets at a certain point, okay? And so where the two lines meet, I think, I believe this is two zero, where the two lines meet, that is where, that's a solution to the equation or the solution to these problems. Okay, 
So when, when using the substitution method, when using the elimination method, when using the graphing method, what you're trying to find is you're trying to find where the two lines meet. Because that's significant. That tells us where one thing is more beneficial than the other. Okay. All right. So uh, let, me, let me share with you. Let's, let's do these problems on the elimination method. Okay. So we have 8x minus 4y is equal to 16. 8x plus 4y is equal to 16, okay? And the elimination method is pretty much, you're trying to eliminate one of the variables. And in this case here, it so happens that you could eliminate the four y's here, right? Because this is a minus y and this is a plus 4y. So we could cancel that out, okay? So we add this here, this would be 16x is equal to, and you just add them as 32. And you divide the 16 to both sides, and so X is equal to two. Once you find what X is, then you're gonna plug it back into either equation and find out what the Y is. So eight times two, I'm gonna go with the, with the bottom one. I don't, don't wanna deal with negatives. So it would be 16 plus four Y is equal to 16. So you subtract the 16 on both sides. And so four Y is equal to zero. So you divide the four to both sides. So Y is equal to zero. So we have two, zero, okay? So again, that two, zero, what does that tell us? That tells us where the two lines meet, okay? Um, if you wanna use the substitution method, remember how we got it into slope intercept form? We got into slope, so eight X minus four Y is equal to 16. Eight X plus four Y is equal to 16. So we wanna get, we wanna isolate a variable and just, that's what we did before. So you subtract the 8x and we have the negative 4y is equal to negative 8x plus 16. You divide the negative four and so y is equal to 2x minus four. Okay, the same thing here I'm doing, I'm just gonna do this quickly because we did it already in the, for the graphing portion. Negative 8x plus 16, you divide the four and so y is equal to negative 2x plus 4. And then, um, oh yeah, I don't want to graph this. You want to, what you want to do is you want to, so you know how both of them are equal to y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute this portion into this variable. So it becomes negative 2x plus four is equal to two X minus four. So since they're both equal to Y, I can make them equal to each other. I add the four to both sides here. I add the two X to this side, to the other side. So this cancels out. This is eight, this is four X, this is zero. So eight is equal to four X, you divide the four and X is equal to two, just like we had it before. And then you plug it in to either equation and you'll notice that the Y is also equal to zero. Okay, I know that kind of went fast. If you need more help, please let me know. I'm more than willing to help you out. All right, have a good night.